Mix, the world famous heavy hitters. We are here and we are excited. Yes. Very excited. So excited. I, I, I want to be the first to say motherfucking shit, bum bitch. Yes, yes. I can do that manually. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, I think that'll be yes. the first time I ever cursed with you on the radio. This is why it's so... Fuck it, you, it, nigga. It, yes. <laughs> I got it all. I got it all. His first day, he was doing the same thing that you, you know, were doing. My first Yo, day, Joe. Going crazy. My first heavy hitter, fuck you shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry about that. Remy, Remy. Yeah. Remy. 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 They have the thing called a beat. <laughs> this, this Joe was waiting box. to be up here, unfiltered, uncensored. Yeah, and, baby. And, and real quick, uh, w welcome Joe, welcome Remy. But Thank enough you. and I notice none of these Spanish guys have been here in weeks. Yeah. And as soon as oh, Don no, Carter is, like is here, yeah, it's shit. <laughs> like I just crazy. left Acorn and the Africans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Africans is over there. Yeah. I'm over there talking that African shit with yeah. Acorn. Yeah. I turned the corner. That shit was like mama no pal monte. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, said, exactly. yo, Rem, Rem ain't get the, the, the she ain't get the I memo, the memo. <laughs> yo, it's only Spanish niggas in there. Yo, it's she crazy. was like, I ain't got my Spanish it's outfit. Crazy. Where <laughs> by? Camillo's here, Megan Wright say enough. CeeLo's here. And what? this guy's here, Mr. Mauricio. Mauricio! Mauricio! Shit. One of my favorite guys on earth. Well, there's a lot of favorites here. There's a lot of favorites, okay. of course. It's almost like, you know, Uncle Dan is here. You know, my Uncle uncles, Dan, what up, D? <laughs> my uncles, he's really my uncle. So my uncles, they they always try to get me into who's my favorite. Uh, I feel like one of the moments right now. Yeah. Like I gotta you got all the heavy hitters looking at you. So I got crazy. all my favorite it's niggas hard. in here. I gotta mind my own business. You have to. I'm I ain't very mad. excited. I was gonna call in sick. Nah, and that's nah. what's gonna be like. You I'm ain't going. doing that. You the Bronx is here. No, you ain't the Bronx doing that. is here. I'm Remy's excited. Here. Remy, Remy. That's exciting. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. You know. I stole that from you when the hashtag. I use that a lot now. Which one? I'm just happy to be here. That's crazy. <laughs> I use that a lot. Yo, why don't you give us a, a quick uh, recap, Camilo, about what happened yesterday over at Studio Square? Yes, in, in, in Queens. Besides 1,500 people in right. a spot that fits 600. Right. Um, That's illegal. I'm we had an saying. amazing party. We did a tribute to B.I.G. last right. night. Biggie brunch, yup. Yeah. Then Incredible. we had a surprise. Yes. Fat Joe stepped up in the building with Remy. Nice. Crazy, right? Touched the new song. All the way up. All the way all up. Right? Way up. Uh, yo, stupid. And let me tell you, the song is what, four or five days old? I, I think Thursday, old. right? It dropped on yeah. Thursday yeah. last week. And the, the reaction in there was... Uh, Fucking movie, <laughs> movie. It so felt, you know that was yesterday. It felt great, man. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I was talking to my man Beck Guys. Beck Guys, big uh, a uh, record industry uh, uh, executive for many years. Now he's over at Rock Nation yeah. doing sports. So he's like, Yo, you know, make believe you're fucking back at Jimmy's in the Bronx, nigga. Fat Joe and Remy's on stage. Oh, and it was it was uh, it was a real good feeling, man. It oh. felt really good. Wait, new song, new song. We, we like this. Yeah, new listen. Yeah. I, I don't French. I don't know where French is at, but he better catch up because I, I know I, I know French is. I, I don't know French record, not record, whatever. But Remy and, and Joe. They, they going for it. <laughs> I've heard like oh, yeah. six people today singing the chorus. Yes. Literally, just throughout it's the day. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely you know, a, it's, a big thing. Yeah, but I'm talking. I mean, I'm going to talk to you. I, I, um, <laughs> true. So, uh, <laughs> he has a point. The thing is, like, I, I sit back. Like, we were, we were discussing, like, you know, what we wanted to go with the record and where we felt the record was going to be prior to coming out. So we've been sitting on this record for months now. Joe even longer than me because I had to put my verse on it. And it was like, we were so happy to not be holding the secret anymore. It was like we were sitting and holding, like <laughs> waiting for it. February to come. It was like killing us. Like Let's Joe was like, Ram, I'm like we would be in a club, Joe would be like, yo, this shit in here is whack. Yo. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, wait, drop, drop that shit right now. It's like, no, not yet. It's, <laughs> it's not ready yet. So when we, so now, like now that we can, and we just go everywhere, and it's being accepted and received the way that we wanted it to be, and the way that we thought it was, it just, it just a great feeling. You know, it's not, almost not, like it's almost like I'm sorry, Camilo, but it's almost like it's almost like a dream rollout. Mm -hmm. So it's like this is how we really wanted it to happen, and we can't believe. It's really it's happening. happening. Yeah, like, you know right. what I'm saying? I think, like, I think it was totally planned, and the shit is really going down. Nowadays, dropping a record is, is tough because you have all these, you know, avenues to drop a record. But the week you dropped it, you know, it was after Kanye and after this and after that. You dropped it on a great week, but nothing came out really. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think, yeah, it was perfect. So no still with everything else around, I, literally, that's what I've been hearing all yeah, day. Feels good. All the way up. Yeah, Little yeah. kids on Instagram, all the way up. Yes, like, it's just crazy. catchy, man. Hold up, yes. we in the studio. Yes, tell them. She comes to the studio, I look at her. See, I'm a coach. I don't know if you know. I'm oh, the, we know this. We know. No, I'm a coach. We know. So, you know, that's why I won all them championships in Harlem. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, 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 she gets in that studio, and I look at her. She might have had a three-hour session. I was like, we going bad, Rem. <laughs> Fuck, she looking at me like, yo, this guy's really on crack or some shit. I'm like, yo, we going bad on these niggas. We going bad. She was like, yo, Joe, but what you, we going bad. We going bad on everybody. So then boom, was, and I'm just hyping her up, and she just went in there and just went. The, the whole album, I tell everybody, forget me, Remy's going for rapper of the year, male or female. Mm. We got some shits that's going to paralyze. I guarantee you, come June 1st, mm -hmm. and I know we're talking to the whole country, we're but you to always, the, world. We're talking the to whole the world. world, but you know we always want to be hot home. We gonna paralyze New York City come June first. Need that paralyze station. Joe, what the hell? Not keeps just you? all the way up. What? No, no. <laughs> Not Yo, just all the way up. paralyze station. You like holding like it back, man. Like, I no, I want that. What keeps this energy up? The next one. What keeps this energy up? Like, cause you're not. Hey, you yo. ain't show up yesterday, and you still act like, hey, it's my first day at the job. Well, you know what happened. I know DJ enough since 98.7 Kiss. Nah, damn. Mm -hmm. Only and, shit enough. And I put out so many hits, and I brought so many people to the game, and they still underestimate me. Mm. And as long as they keep underestimating me, I'm going to keep dropping shit like this mm. forever on these yeah. niggas. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want him to stop, just give him his props. And he'll just <laughs> that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Salute a nigga. Get him out the way, Remy. <laughs> no, but I agree with Joe. Like, when it comes to Remy, you don't look at Remy as a female rapper. She a rapper, period. Exactly. Like, she's a rapper. She went. She I mean, sounds. I keep listening to the album because I got it. <laughs> and uh, I keep listening to the album and I'm just like amazed. Like, I can't even. Like, I've been catching shit. Like, I'm like, oh my God, she said that. <laughs> really? I'm like, I back this shit up. Like, wow. Like, yo, she said, I mean, she's just like. I mean, I, I, come from, I come from sitting in the studio, like, you know, Big Pun mm -hmm. gave me my first shot. Yes. So, you know, this is this is where I come from. You know, I live in a house with Papoose. Like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. know, I, I have to be on point at all times. Joe calls me in the middle of the night at 4 a.m. I don't get a minute to rest. So I have to, you know, I have to have my bars, my metaphors, yeah. my triple and Your go bag is always on. ready. I have to have them on cock. <laughs> For any well, you know, we, we blessed, we blessed because uh, when I work in Miami, I work with Cool and Dre, the executive producer Incredible. album yes, with me. Incredible. And then I got a young boy over there named Kent Jones, who I feel is the, the best rapper in the world, new rapper coming out, Kent Jones. Right? That's my personal opinion. And then when we work in New York, we got Pat Poose, Remy Ma, Fat Joe, and Fred the Godson sitting in the corner. Okay. Mm. And like Fred, you know, Pat Poots and Fred, boy, them they, they might want to eat their, forget their nails, they want to eat their fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, those those is rap niggas. And they sitting there like, real rap niggas. please ask me for help. Something, please. <laughs> What was that you said? What's the word that rhymes with what? What did you say? <laughs> like, it's crazy. I think that, um, I just want to say on the record, this has nothing to do with anything. You mentioned, um, Cool and Dre. I just wanted to say, I find it really strange that everybody waited till I came home from prison when I'm on parole to become potheads. This is really bothering me right now. I'm on Dre's page all the time. He's smoking all of this It weed. wasn't like that before? No! I was the only one and Joe's no, paying on things. me. He's like, and, and, now, and now you can. Yeah, right? I just have to sneak and smoke. He's like, I don't want my girl rapper smoking in front of people. I don't want my girl rapper talking to guys. You say that? Like, yes, he's like crazy. And we're now it's true. Now everyone's just, you know, loud all day. But I just thought I I, I want to say, you know. Yo, listen. Shout I, out to I, everyone that came I smoked weed <laughs> one time in my life. This is breaking news. Lower yeah, the music. Right, leave it down. Leave this is breaking down. news. Breaking news. Uncle Dan, Uncle Dan, Dan don't even know. Is Joe's mic right here? Uncle Dan don't even know. Yeah. All right. Okay. I smoke I smoke weed yeah, first. One time in my life. A girl gassed me, I finally gave in. 
and then I felt like I was catching a heart attack and I ran out the house That's butt naked. <laughs> I ran out the house That's butt naked. Like, like Martin Lawrence. Yo, my nigga. That. That like Mar Martin, Martin Lawrence, yeah. nigga. I ran outside. Thank God it was four in the morning, man. And I ran out the house butt naked. Looking like Smokey and Friday just she's, running. She's driving the car like, yo, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm like, no, I got to go to the doctor. I'm going to die. Well, said I'm gonna die. Shit like that. That's not, not weed. That is not weed, dust, my friend. How are we, Joe? Listen, if I told you like who you. gave me the weed, you know it was a dust. <laughs> like, stop. We know the culprit. Like, let's leave it alone. Oh, well, then that was a different quality. It was an inside joke. Okay, that was a different quality of weed. Yo, he wasn't, I can't he smoke. wasn't ready. That's the thing. Yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So I turned around. They be having weed. I mean, allegedly have Alleg weed. <laughs> Wherever I go, there's like mountains of weed and shit. And I remember uh, like like a month ago, I told Dre. I said, yo, Dre, man, you fucking piehead niggas. This, that, right? Because I don't smoke. Niggas are smoking. It's like Cheech and Chong and shit. And niggas said, yo, Joe, let me give you some breaking news. I said, what? He said, you're the greatest secondhand smoke nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo. Yeah. So, let me say Remy Ma's my baby. Okay. That's my girl. Yeah. Okay. I, love, I love Remy. Wait. I love Remy. And she's like one of those, like, as women, we hate to be looked at as, uh, you don't want to just be good for a woman. And you make it comfortable for the rest of us to realize that you can be strong and, and be out there and, and, and get with the rest yeah, of us. because these dudes be tripping. They be tripping, right? <laughs> and she she a newlywed. Yes. yes, let's talk about, let's talk about <laughs> the She's married now. All, I know that Papoose is, I don't know, he, he DVR, because he gets yeah. mad at you when yeah, you don't want to sit I'm, and watch I'm, it. <laughs> I, I'm Seriously. Not, I don't, you know, I'm not used to watching TV. Uh -huh. I haven't really latched on to that. I watch <laughs> Jeopardy and that's it and keep it moving. But he, he gets upset. He feels like, like it's, it's a the family world moment. series. Like, like we're going to sit down. <laughs> we're going to watch. Because we never, but people don't realize we don't see the episodes until you guys see them. We don't right. see it ahead of time. Oh, you don't? No. Mm -hmm. So you film, you film, you film for months and then you're like, yo, wait, we're waiting every Monday like everyone else to see, okay, what did I do that day? <laughs> I wonder if they put that part where I was wailing in there. So it's like, you know, people don't um really realize that we're watching it for the first time too and I be busy, I be running around, I be doing all types of and stuff. And Papoose like, so. be like, nope, we gonna sit and watch this. He, he, yeah. He, 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 so this he is tough for you right now because you got a brand new record that's on fire. Right. And then you got the TV show that's on fire. And you got married today. Got married today and you out promoting show. your record. And I have to, I mean, I gotta get this chicken. I don't know what you're <laughs> <laughs> No, but then it's like, but she got Pat at home and then she got Joe on this first side. First of all, let me just be clear. <laughs> I want the entire universe to know that Papoose and Fat Joe are like, tag teaming me at all different times like it's, it's serious like it was so bad i'm not even talking about like i was i was laying in the bed that day. i was mad time i'm sitting here and i'm not, and i hear pap he's on the phone it's like three in the morning he's like nah joe cuz i'm just like i know he didn't just say joe i know all the friends he have any friends named joe i know it was not cracky talking to him i let it slide the other day, I don't know, I was trying to do something that he felt I shouldn't do it. Like, matter of fact, I was trying to go see my friend. My friend, she has right. cancer, she lives in Maryland. Right. Now, so, me and my friends is like, yo, let's just go out there, surprise her for her birthday. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna jump in the car. He's like, um, I think you should hire security, take a car. I'm like, come on, you turn it into a whole Remy Ma thing. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna call Joe. Let's see if Joe thinks that you should get on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'll just call my friend. Like, I'm not gonna go. Gonna yeah. just, let's just FaceTime her. Because I already knew what he was gonna say. So and I and everybody <laughs> listening, Joe's here quiet, like, yup. Like, yup. 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 He don't care. He admits that he shuts it down. He don't, you know, some people feel bad. Like, you know what? It's, it's not that bad. People like, so what? I don't care. They don't want us to win. They don't want, like, come on. Come on. <laughs> I have to say you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so I saw the, much. The, the pictures on Instagram. She mm, looks so beautiful you. in the wedding dress. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You look amazing at the wedding, though. Amazing. Yes. I'm not Every gonna, day, but you know, yes. it's the wedding, you know? First of all, I'm not going to say this guy came with this this immaculate tux. He was telling uh, me about his tux that he was going to wear to my wedding for like two months before he had it. <laughs> he showed up. I'm not going to lie. It was the fly. It's fly. Uh, you got that? And when <laughs> Joe describes something, it's like monumental. He knows, all, it's like, he knows all the adjectives. That's yes. why. Phenomenal. <laughs> amazing. Miraculous. <laughs> crazy. Out of this world, like he knows oh, no, all no. of them. He used them all at the if, same if time. If we can't use them, we'll make a new one. <laughs> oh yeah, he does that too. We're the inventors. 
<laughs> we'll make a new one. <laughs> I like that. And, and 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 so this is a long time coming. This is something we wanted. You know what I mean? We wanted to see you guys actually working hard and putting out a project to represent us. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Uptown, New York. Man. So yeah. we right there. Where, where they charge $40 for the club. Hey, hey, it's not <laughs> being, hey. You know, hey. Godfather's Dominican. Cerro <laughs> <laughs> Nosa. Uptown, what they see is like, that guy got money, he got it. They don't want to hear nothing. They don't want to hear nothing. But this is a long time coming, and we're happy you guys are like doing it this way. It feels real organic, you know what I mean? I mean, it, I definitely feel like this is, um, this is something that was written. You know what I mean? It was it was in the stars. Like everything is lining up too mm. perfectly. Mm. When I say like it's it's so per it's happening so perfect that it scares me sometimes. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Like I'll be like Joe be like, yo then I'll be like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna say nothing and jinx nothing at all. Feel, it feels and, good. And, and, and I feel like people want us to yeah. win. They do. Yes, oh, they do. Yes. When people want you to win, it's always you know yes. Akon Yes Akon <laughs> African president. <laughs> it's about to be a movie now. Yeah. It's about to be a movie. He's coming in. Uh -oh. He's coming in. It's about to be a movie. Hey. It's about to be a movie. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it. I seen him. Yo, I love Akon, man. Let me give you my info. Let me, let me take a picture, y'all. I need the African remix. Yes, I told him already. Yes, yes. I'm African. Yes, of course you are. No, no. we know this. I'm saying, we all are. Yo, Akon, tell no, him. We do tours in Africans, man. Be Moroccan. Hold up, bring that down. Yo. You're about to be Moroccan.